Hi guys, quick post bag today from AliExpress. Got some items to open up. Uh, the links to the items should be in the description below and where possible they will be affiliate links. So if you click through to them and purchase anything on AliExpress, I will get a little kickback and that will be great. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look at them. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to just subscribe if you are not. Uh, yeah, and enjoy the video. As per usual, I've opened these up off screen so you don't have to watch me struggle with a knife. Uh, so here we go, just four items today. Let's pick them first. These are one of these. Ah, it is a bag of capacitors. Uh, just various sizes. Needed some capacitors in for various projects. Uh, it's always handy to have them in. Nothing special about that. This one. This is mobile phone charger. It says. I do know what this would be. Yes, they always send this through. Give me that. Give me that. Here we go. Yeah, so this is a wireless charger for your mobile phone. I've already got one of these, uh, but I want to get one for work as well. I've got a Samsung Galaxy S7, uh, and this is a wireless charger. It does say it's not compatible with the S7, but the one I've got does work. Uh, it's the same one, so I assume it will work. Basically the S7 sits on top, USB powered, it takes 1.5 amps uh, and it dishes out depending on what the phone or the adapter can take. Speaking of the adapter, it came with a generic one as well. So if your phone doesn't have a wireless charger built in, my original one was for a Note 2 and it had a, a little adapter that you'd put inside the case. These are for USB style phones, um, let's see if we can get this to focus, it has a USB connector, this basically sits behind the phone, you plug it in and then you sit the phone on the charger, easy as that, handy little item, only a few pounds, beats spending 10-20 pounds for the official Samsung wireless charger. It doesn't charge it as fast, but I'm happy with trickle charging it. It's better for the battery. Like that. It's a large one. There's a box. Don't know what this will be. Yes. What is this? Looks like Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, this is a voltmeter. It is a 5 volt direct voltage meter um, and it's an analog meter. So you would put positive and negative, positive and negative wires there and it would read 0 to 5 volts. I saw a tutorial on YouTube from uh, Educates TV. I'll stick a link in the description. Or maybe I'll stick a, a card up there as well. Um, showing you how you can convert a simple 5 volt analog voltage meter into a temperature gauge. Uh, so I'm planning on doing that. Make it into an old school uh, temperature gauge. You can see the needle. It goes up and down. As, a, as the voltage would go up and down and you would convert the temperature into a voltage using something like an Arduino. Yeah, and you get a cool little old school analog gauge. Maybe pop a couple of LEDs in there to uplight it. There you go, cool little project. Oop, got some mounting screws with it as well. Andy. 
Okay, last one. Tester kit. So, uh -huh. Yeah, this is a tester kit, as the envelope would say. It. And it's a tester kit of Cherry MX keys. So this shows, I believe, black, red, blue, and brown Cherry MX keys. Quite curious about the mechanical keys. Uh, this is a little testing board. I think it was about two pounds something. Uh, delivered and this gives you an example of how the, all the keys uh, differ. I believe the black and the red are linear, the blue and the brown are actuated, they get a little clicky, you get more of a bump. Yeah, you can test how they work. I was going to use one of these as well for a little, um, little Arduino project using AT Tiny 85 where you can make a single key keyboard connect it via USB and you can use it to do whatever command you want. Yeah, these are quite a cool it's on camera. See the blue is the one with the click. So if you have a fancy mechanical keyboard, you're not sure which keys to get, get a tester kit, one like these. And that is it for the mailbag. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.